Hallo ihr Lieben und willkommen zu einem neuen Video von mir. Heute habe ich einen ganz besonderen Gast, nämlich Morgan Moncombe. So nice to meet you here. Yeah, I'm so happy to be here. Thank is this you. your first time in Germany? Yes, this is my first time ever in Germany and uh, that's why I'm so happy to be here. Um, I haven't seen um, a lot besides the fair so far, but I really like Germany. I mean, mostly the people, they're all very nice and welcoming, so... Yeah, I was nervous, but now I'm good. Yeah, <laughs> that's very good. Um, do you like the book fair too? Yes, I like it. Actually, it's not really different from um, the book fairs that we have in France. Mm -hmm. So um, it's kind of a familiar um, feeling. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I love it. I mean, they have, <laughs> there's a lot of people. Um, mostly yesterday, it was crazy. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, it's nice. And actually, I think I'm going to buy a book after that. <laughs> Even if I can't speak German, um, I saw those new editions of Harry Potter. And they're so gorgeous. I think I'm going to buy one. <laughs> yes, they're very beautiful. You like Harry Potter? Uh, yes. I mean, who doesn't really? But uh, yeah, it's just easily my favorite series ever. Oh, very cool. I love Harry Potter oh, too. Cool. It's my <laughs> favorite character. Um, Hello. Oh, thank you. So, I mean, thank you. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> but yeah. I like Snape too yeah. and Dumbledore. Oh, yes, okay. that's are my favorites, and I'm a fan girl. Okay. And yes, I love it. Yeah, I agree. Um, in French, in French, you say Hermione. Um, Hermina. Hermina. Yeah, she's my favorite. And I also love um, uh, Lupin. Lupin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lupin. And uh, Ron. Yes, he's very cool. Yes, he's very cool. He's a dork. I love, I love him. He and his brothers are very funny, yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's difficult to just be quiet and mm. very Never to close your first book in Germany. What kind of feeling is this? It feels really good. Um, I mean, it was a dream to be translated in another country and now it's a dream come true and I'm still not really realizing it. I'm like, what am I doing here? Um, but it's, yeah, I'm very grateful and happy and yeah, it's very weird to have like those people who don't speak the same language as me who are actually reading um, words that I wrote. It's amazing. I love it. I can't imagine this. Yeah. Um, the cover, do you like the cover? Do you like what? The cover? Um, ah, the cover. Yes, I love the cover. It's really different from uh, the, the French cover. Um, the, on the French cover you have like um, characters, you know, people on the cover. So uh, I, I like this one. I think the, the colors are very soft and um, um, it fits well the story inside. I think it's a cover that Violet would love. I like the cover and the story too. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> in the story, the characters get stuck in an elevator. Yeah. Um, did are you ever get stuck in one? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god, no. Fortunately, because I'm not really good with um, um, closed spaces. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, if I was stuck with a low end, maybe okay, but no, I haven't. So do you have the best friend? Uh, yeah, I have, I have two, I mean, I have a lot of um, best friends, but I have one best friend, but she's a she, <laughs> she's a girl. And how did you met her? Because um, Alon and Violet, um, yeah, they get stopped in an elevator and then they get friends. Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> I met my best friend on WhatsApp actually. I don't know if you know what but it's um, a platform, a uh, writing platform on the internet and I was actually writing Never Too Close mm -hmm. uh, or maybe another book, I don't remember and uh, she was reading my story and she went to me like oh my god I love your story and uh, we started talking and then we met and then we became best friends and it's been maybe three years and I love her so much. <laughs> That's a yeah. very nice story, yeah. thank you for this. Um, what was your inspiration for Never To Close? Um, How did you get the idea? <laughs> I don't know. Um, actually, the first thing that I had was this scene in the elevator. It was the only thing that I had in my head. I was like, oh my god, this is so cliche, but I love it. And I have to do that 
So I wrote the prologue with the elevator, and I had nothing planned beside of that. Um, I just had like the um, the image of Violet in my head. I wanted a main character who was um, clumsy, funny, uh, very um, um, optimistic and positive as she is, and who likes to eat and who likes chocolate <laughs> like I do, and uh, who talks a lot when she's anxious. And, uh, and that's all I had. And after that, the story just came into my mind. I don't know how, really. I just knew that I wanted uh, a story between uh, best friends because I love it. I think that um, when you fall in love, when you fall in love, you have to fall in love with. I mean, the, the the person you fall in love with must be your best friend because you can tell him or her everything. And, yeah. Yes, that's right. Um, do you have a special writing routine? Um, hmm. um, I have to drink or eat something when I <laughs> when I uh, when I write. You like eating? <laughs> yeah, I like eating. That's true. Um, but I don't know. I think it helps with the inspiration somehow. And I can't write at home, for example. I know it's weird, but when I'm in my bedroom or like uh, in the living room, I can't concentrate because I have so many distractions like the television and the books and I'm like no I can't write so I usually write at coffee shops like Starbucks and stuff and I always write with music in my head in my ears mm -hmm. uh, yeah I can't do that in the absolute quiet it's stressing me out <laughs> and yeah and I'm a maniac of organization so I have like before even starting to write, I have, I have to have the, the whole plan in my head. Like I know, I need to know what happens um, in at first and what will happen at the end and all in between. Okay. Otherwise, I can't start to write. Okay. And instead of writing, uh, was it easier for you to write um, the point of view of? or from Violet? Um, I think it was easier to write from the Violet's point of view because she's a woman and I am a woman <laughs> and so um, I think it's easier because I understand what um, sh how she thinks and obviously I mean um, being uh, in the I mean in the head of a man is kind of difficult because I don't always know how he will react or what he would think but um, it was a challenge I think I hope that I did well um, but yeah and also Violet is a lot like me so it was easier obviously. you did well yeah, thank you <laughs> um, have you a favorite place to write something like um, Starbucks uh, or yeah. another coffee <laughs> Starbucks actually. Yeah, I am um, in France. Like my French readers, they all know that I go to Starbucks to write because I don't know. It's kind of my favorite place because it's cozy and you have uh, soft music and everyone is just with their computer working and it helps because I'm like, okay, I'm going to work as well. I'm very motivated and, um, and yeah. Usually I come on the weekends, so. Um, I go like on the morning and I leave on the evening. So I stay like all day. <laughs> Sounds very good. <laughs> yeah. What are your hobbies outside of writing? Uh, reading, obviously. <laughs> um, reading, but also um, cinema. I love cinema a lot. I would like to write for cinema one day because that's very interesting. <laughs> I wanted to be an actress for so long, but <laughs> obviously I changed my mind. And, um, and music uh, is a very big part of my life. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't, I can't sing. That's, <laughs> I can't sing at all, but I can dance and um, yeah, yeah. And what's your favorite music? <gasps> I can't choose. No, I can't choose. It's so hard. I have a lot of favorite music because it depends on my mood, for example. I have musics who are very inspired, um, who are really inspiring me but also music like sad music that I listen when I'm sad <laughs> because I'm a weirdo and um, and yeah but at the moment I'm really into K-pop 
So, yeah. <laughs> um, which song would you choose as title song for Never to Close? Oh, that's a good one. Um, uh, oh my god. <laughs> I have this song in my head for Never to Close, and I don't remember the title. I think it's Lucky, or yeah, I think it's Lucky by uh, Colby Kayat. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know the song, and it's actually the story of uh, best friends falling in love. And I think it's it fits well the the book. So maybe this, like Lucky. Yeah, I think. Yeah, <laughs> Lucky because they're lucky to find each other. I guess. Okay. Cool. <laughs> um, at the end, I have a few this or that questions. Okay. Are you ready for this? Oh my god. I don't know, am I? <laughs> um, tea or coffee? Tea. Um, love or friendship? Friendship. Um, money or fame? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so hard. Um, uh, fame, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, summer or winter? Uh, winter. Um, reading or writing? Oh my god. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> Only one is possible. Oh my god. Um, I don't know. It's it's so hard because writing means that I just I just read what I do and that's not a good thing. Reading, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, reading. Um, movies or serious? <laughs> TV shows. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that it was very. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. You made it, made it very good. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having time. Yeah, it was very good questions. Thank you. Thank I like you. it very much. I like oh, you very much. Thank you. And um, I, I love so your book. Thank you. I, I hope you will love the second one. I hope so. Yeah. Uh, what you uh, do? You want to tell us something about uh, the story from the second one? Uh, yeah. Um, actually, it's the story of Zoe and Jason. Mm -hmm. And so it takes place at the same time as uh, in Never Too Close. So you have still Violet and Luan in the background, so that's good. And um, I love it because Violet, uh, no, no Violet, uh, Jason and uh, Zoe are kind of wild and um, their relationship is really explosive and, um, and uh, with a lot of sparks. And so. Yeah, it's, um, you know, um, hate and love all in between. And I think that the second book talks about love, but also about important subjects um, like eating disorders and um, bisexuality and um, toxic relationships. And yeah, it really means a lot to me. So I hope that you will love it. Cool. Yeah. I think so too. Um, what's your favorite book, first or second one? Um, well, it's like asking me uh, as a parent who is my favorite <laughs> child. Um, I love them all, but I think the second one is my favorite okay. because I think that my writing style has improved, obviously, with the time. And also, Jason is my favorite character. And this book is actually very close to my heart because it talks about things that are close to my life. Yeah, it's personal. Yeah. Very cool. So, thank you for the interview thank again. You so much. It was so nice yeah, to meet fun. you. And yeah, das war's mit meinem Video. Ich hoffe, es hat euch gefallen und wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal wieder. Tschüss. Bye.